thank uh, Leader Jeffries, Dr. Smith, thank you for so eloquently stating the obvious. I'm here today with Mothers United Against Violence. Someone Johanna Hayes knows very well, but Mothers United Against Violence are a unique group of people founded by Henrietta Beckman and Reverend Henry Brown, who are with us as well. Uh, they are here so that they can sit down with all of us and talk about the model that they have, as you said, Dr. Smith, and looking for a not only a solution, but for our Republican colleagues to actually look them in the eyes and understand the heartache and understand what they are living through on a daily basis, as Chairman has, has indicated more deaths than days in the year. Speaking on their behalf, we're going to have Deborah Davis from, you know, Mothers United Against Violence. Deborah. This is tragedy for us because we have to stand here and say to you, we all need your support. We have to tell the Republican members that this does not just impact our mass shootings that we've had so often. And as one person said, more than the days of the year. We are losing so many young people across the country. And there are groups like Mothers United Against Violence, founder, co-founders, Henrietta Beckman and Reverend Brown, that have been working on the front line for over 15, 18 years. And I have to say that because being on the outside and boots on the ground has been important. But now we do get called and we do get questions from all of these mass shootings. We know what the pain is. We are represented by mothers throughout the state of Connecticut. Mothers that have had the pain, that understand the pain, and understand how to help others get through the pain. We have also a great and an excellent model of how to work with our police departments. That's key for us because we want them to hear our voices. We are willing to talk to them. We want to share our voices with them and let them know how important it is to save lives. That's our underlying goal, saving lives. If we can help to save a life, that's what we want to do. This should be a bipartisan issue because this issue is taking out everyone across the board. And it doesn't matter what color you are, what ethnicity you are, what language you speak. It takes us out one by one. We have mothers represented throughout the state of Connecticut here. We understand that we have to be there for each other. But more importantly, we are exhausted of seeing shootings across this country for no reason whatsoever. We have mass shootings, but we deal with, I think your shoes may look too good. Oh, you may have my girlfriend. As simple things as that. We know that the trauma level in our communities, if they are worked on, if they are provided the right type of resources, we can take our work to the next level. Because our issue is trying to make sure we create a sustainable and viable community. A sustainable and viable community, no matter where it is, in the urban environment. Across the country, we have to recognize that we all need the support. We all need the help. And we all have to identify with saving a life is just as important for this country. And like I said, this is not just an issue that happens in the urban communities. Now we are seeing this all over the country. This should be a bipartisan issue. We want to sit down with the Republicans. We want to tell them, we want to let them know how important it is we've been impacted. We will talk to them. We understand how important it is also to work with our police departments. We are supportive of that because we know that the community engagement and leaning in as much as we can, that is the message. Communications is the message. That's what we want to take to them. We want to take to them that we want to help. And we're not standing idly by to wait for another shooting or a mass shooting. We're here because we want to help. We want to provide that communication that they need. And yes, we are pro-police. We want to make sure that they're able to exist in our communities. 
And we want to make sure that everyone gets the funding that they need. But the most important thing for us is saving our children, saving our children as we have tears every day for our child. And we may not look like we cry every day, but we do. We cry every day because inside the tears are just as real as the tears outside. So that visible and that invisible pain lives with us on a day to day basis. And we honor all of our all of our folks that are so in front and specifically our representative from the state of Connecticut, our congressman. Congressman Larson has been right there for all of us. And that's what we're saying to you. We want you to understand we are willing to talk to our Republicans. We are really, we are lives, we're people. And so I want them to know that we can sit down and talk. We can have communication. This is a bipartisan issue. Thank you so much.